It's hard to imagine a more tranquil activity than flying a kite. So it's shocking when something so innocent turns potentially deadly. And the way this strange story ended had some people calling it a miracle. First, a warning, this video may disturb some viewers. It's August 2020 in the city of Shinzu in northern Taiwan. At an annual international kite festival, dozens of colorful and creative kites are soaring through the sky. When suddenly everything goes awry. Cameras are rolling as the tail of a 75-foot-long kite snatches up a three-year-old spectator in a strong gust of wind. This footage is unbelievable, but look again from another angle. The girl is carried off into the sky, holding on for dear life. But at three years old, how would a child be able to hold on to something that, that seems so flimsy? After about eight seconds, the wind finally brings the toddler closer to the ground where people can grab her. What's most amazing, once freed, she only has some scratches to the neck. The footage is so crazy, it has people questioning if it could possibly be real. Now, it's true the girl may just have gotten tangled in the kite, but its material is so lightweight and slippery, it has people wondering if she could possess abnormal strength for a toddler that enabled her to hold on while being whipped through the air. All she had to do was let go, and that it's game over. So some believe the only way the girl could have survived this ordeal is with the help of divine intervention. According to Christian faith tradition, each person has their own guardian angel. Believers might say that uh, this, is, this would be an instance where a guardian angel was there to, to help safely guide her back to Earth. Look closely at this clip of the incident. See those glowing orbs in the sky? Some have claimed those are guardian angels appearing as balls of light. These shocking clips show the enormous power of a sudden wind gust. Hurricane force winds can even tear apart buildings. But did this video of the Taiwanese toddler actually happen? Let's turn to our experts to see if they were as blown away as we were. Forensic video analyst Michael Primo does a comparative analysis with various recordings of the event. I didn't detect any evidence that these things were computer graphic generated or that these events were staged um, in some way, shape, or form. The, the movements of the operators of the cameras uh, feels natural. They're almost surprised that this is happening. If the video is real, we need an explanation. So, could guardian angels have protected this toddler? Catholic miracle researcher Michael O'Neill says the belief in guardian angels has been around since the fourth century. Yet O'Neill is also a trained engineer, and he thinks something else is at play. Some have uh, perceived orbs in the background in this image and therefore extrapolated that to mean uh, angels being present. But because it was a festival of kites, those just look like other kites in the distance that maybe the sun is reflecting off of. So if not through the help of angels, how did the girl remain attached securely enough to make it down safely? It's definitely possible for a kite to provide enough force to lift a small child. He's right about that. Just look at what this freak gust did to a kite surfer in Brazil. But the thing that's really interesting here is how she's being whipped around by the tail on the kite, but yet is remaining attached. What we do know is that there are types of knots called binding knots that once they are around something, if you pull the string, it doesn't loosen the knot, it tightens the knot. So this means that the more the girl is whipped around by the tail of the kite, the more securely she's held by the tail of the kite. You can see that particularly in this frame where it appears that the tail going taut pulls on and tightens the knot. And biochemistry expert Amy Eskridge agrees that the wind may have actually helped secure the child. As the gust of wind came through, it actually coiled around her, and that actually would hold her pretty securely, almost like a clove hitch sailor's knot. Our verdict? Through a miracle of physics, the tail of the kite likely knotted so tightly around the toddler that she remains attached to it until making it back to the ground. Another wild story from Norway. It's April 5th, 2019. A resident of Andoy goes outside to film the Northern Lights when the peaceful scene literally explodes. 
Four balls of bright light erupt and seem to drop four glowing objects to Earth. Then, watch, just as it starts to fade, four more blow up. Now, on one hand, this area is a hotbed for strange legends. The Arctic is a very remote place. It's a very hard place to live. So what you're going to have is stories that tell of odd lights in the sky, of monsters out on the horizon, of, of beings from the sky that come down and, and sort of interfere in the daily affairs of humans. In Viking lore, the giant wolf Fenrir and his sons will one day eat the sun and moon and make the stars disappear. But as this recent incident plays out in Norway, locals are more inclined to think UFO, especially given the strange color, shape, and pattern of these lights. Emergency lines light up with calls about an invasion, and others don't see aliens. They see a bear, the Russian bear. The Arctic is hotly contested area. It's basically rich, very rich in precious metals. Russia has a big presence there. They really want the shipping lanes. And as the ice retreats, Russia advances. Russia is even testing exotic and advanced weaponry. Russia is building a string of bases in the Arctic. And it recently tested a hypersonic cruise missile, the Sirkan which reached speeds of over Mach 8. So is Norway under invasion from a superpower or supernatural forces? First, is it a UFO? Astronomer and video effects designer Mark D'Antonio compares this to other sightings. There have been reports of strange halos around UFOs with different color lights, but this is sort of outside that realm. D'Antonio says classic orb UFOs tend to move very quickly, often with radical angular turns a plane could never make. But these just hang there as their glowing payload falls to Earth. That's anomalous even by UFO video standards. So we ask aviation expert Tim McMillan about the Russians. You're not seeing the same effect that you would see in a missile test. The different contrails that you would see in the sky, that freezing of propulsion exhaust that's coming off those systems. Whatever these are, they're quickly dissipating into the atmosphere, more consistent with a gas or something that's it's not a solid object. And dissipating into the atmosphere seems to be exactly the point, according to D'Antonio. We launch rockets up into space to actually see what happens when we release different types of vapors. These vapors track the movement of the Aurora Borealis. And as D'Antonio digs deeper, he learns that NASA was conducting this research at that time using a special technology. It turns out that this particular rocket is known as a Black Brant that actually launched all these different types of vapors up into the upper atmosphere. So, our verdict? This was, in fact, a NASA test. One reason it was such a spectacular show is that the tracers consisted of some of the same chemicals used in fireworks. In early July 2018, Crystal Washington is mourning the death of her beloved grandfather when she hears there's a storm approaching. I went outside and something just said, pull out your phone and start recording. The next day, a family member tells Crystal to watch the video again, and she can't believe what she sees. Look closely. It appears like a shadowy figure is walking from left to right across a bright break in the clouds. Before I could even say anything, my mouth just dropped. And all I could scream was, Mama, Mama, Mama. And she asked me what it was, and I went back and I showed her. I said, look at this. From my point of view, being that my uh, grandfather had just passed, to me, it looked like someone walking up the stairs to heaven. Many of the 100,000 comments on the clip agree that it looks like someone, perhaps even God himself, is ascending to heaven. And it's not the first time that something like this has been caught on camera. Another eyewitness in Scotland captured this glowing rainbow angel that appeared on the side of a mountain in 2019. There's a long, long history of religious apparitions. And many times it's actually Mary, the mother of Jesus, who's popping up in kind of a ray of light. 
The Bible is full of accounts of divine visions in the sky, but only now do we have the benefit of two billion smartphones to document such sightings. And if these are more than just metaphors, could these apparitions actually be an ominous sign of the end times? According to the book of Revelations, Christ will descend from the clouds when he returns during the second coming. So could this actually be a stairway between earth and heaven? Let's see what our experts think. Forensic video analyst Michael Primo runs the clip through a tool called Medix to interpret the metadata. He finds the integrity of the file has been lowered because it's been recompressed so many times. I can't say as to whether or not this information was added or removed from the video recording because of the high compression level, but I can't put my finger on anything that has been manipulated. Then what about the theory that this is a connection to a literal heaven? Sort of an archaic notion, the idea that God and the angels are in heaven, even though that's not our our consistent modern conception of what, what's going on up there. Still, we still have that in our consciousness that God and the angels are in the heavens or in the sky. So I think that when people see these cloud patterns that might evoke God or evoke angels, that it's only natural for people to make that connection. Catholic miracle researcher Michael O'Neill is also trained in visual engineering and concludes that viewers are likely just seeing patterns that look like something they find familiar. So could the strange weather have something to do with creating these very specific shapes? It looks like it's happening here is that you have a line of thunderstorms or a series of thunderstorms all in the same place. All of those clouds would have vertical development to them. You can't see it because they're kind of crammed together, so you're just seeing the bottoms of the clouds instead. But what's particularly cool about this case is that you do have this distinctive hole punched in the middle of all these dark clouds. Atmospheric scientist Deanna Hintz says the setting sun reflecting off the sides of the clouds is what's creating this bright spot. But what's creating the shape of a figure is even more fascinating. These kind of storms, they have really powerful updrafts. Little pieces of cloud will travel up into those updrafts and then merge with the bigger cloud. And so the fact that this is moving in that kind of slant-wise trajectory up the side of the cloud is not uncommon because it's going to be following the broader upward motion that's happening within these clouds. Yet many viewers still take this image as a sign of something bigger. Believers take great inspiration from the little moments in life where they believe that God is there. God is working in their lives. So the idea that a person could perceive something in the clouds or feel in another part of their life that God is working in that life, that's an inspiration to a lot of people. Just seeing those videos and reminding me of, you know, how much my grandfather meant to me and how much I'm gonna miss him and strengthen my faith every day. Our verdict? This is likely a perfectly coincidental vertical storm cloud creating an optical effect. But for the faithful, a coincidence of this magnitude can be seen as proof of God's existence and power. It's a beautiful clear day in Camden, South Carolina in October of 2016. Welder Corey Heron is leaving his wife's office when he spots something overhead so stunning, he starts live streaming it to Facebook. Nobody will believe me if I didn't do this live, but I want you to look at this cloud in the sky. Check that out. Hovering just above a nearby building is a cloud that looks unmistakably familiar. Is that not an angel or what? Look, I mean, you can almost like see a face. It also appears to have large, perfectly symmetrical wings. As Corey marvels at this cloud figure, it doesn't seem to move from this spot, and there's barely another cloud around. I don't know that I've ever seen with my own two eyes this type of cloud. This is my angel. With normal clouds, you would expect to see dissipation, but this image was persistent. What's interesting is this gentleman apparently had a tough time with an incident that had happened and was perhaps looking for a sign or needing some support. This sighting wasn't just transformative for Corey at a vulnerable time in his life. It was spiritually inspiring to many of the over 9 million people who watched his video. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed it as much as I did. The same year as Corey's sighting, a Gallup poll found that 72% of Americans believe angels exist. So is the video proof that they are indeed watching over us? Let's have our analysts test their faith in this idea. 
First, we determine if the cloud formation is particularly unusual. The thin, wispy characteristics of this particular cloud indicates that it's likely made of ice crystals. The light that's reflecting from it and passing through it isn't being reflected as effectively as if this was a cloud made of water. This is actually a process known as sublimation, where the ice crystals are turning back into water vapor and thus becoming invisible. So that kind of differential around a cloud can lead to pieces of it going away and forming interesting shapes. And as to how this cloud was able to stay still and maintain its angelic shape, there would need to be a few different things happening. For one, that the winds at that altitude are relatively calm, and so that the cloud is not being moved away quickly. I don't even think it's moved. Another factor would be that there is enough moisture in that layer of the atmosphere so that the different cloud particles don't disappear back into water vapor very quickly. Professor Hintz checks the weather conditions on that day to see if they are consistent with what we see in the video. There's actually a pretty broad high pressure region over the eastern United States. The winds within a high pressure region are often very calm. So that would actually set up the conditions to being calm enough that the cloud is able to hang around for a long period of time. Our verdict, this sighting was a naturally forming cloud, but it is not our place to say whether it was caused by divine intervention. Those who believe in angels still see sightings like these as a sign, and we could all use a little help from above.